So you want to get into Genshin. You're new to Genshin. Your friend got you into Genshin and you feel incredibly overwhelmed and you have no idea where to start. Well, then this video is for you. If you have a friend that's new to Genshin and you don't have the brain power to explain everything to them, send them this video. If you enjoyed this video or if the video has helped you, please leave a like and a comment of your main character. All right, on with the video. If you don't know already, this game is a gacha game which means if you want new characters and new weapon types, this is going to be the method that you're going to obtain them by. Even if you're going free to play, knowing this information will help you. As a new player, you will have access to the Beginner's Wish banner. This banner gives you a 20% discount on your wishes for up to 20 wishes. It also guarantees that you get Noel. After your 20 wishes, the banner will disappear. After this, there are three different banners. The first one you open will always be the promotional banner. After that will be the weapon banner and then the standard banner. The standard banner will always be available throughout the game, so it is not recommended to spend your primos on it. Genshin will occasionally give out primo gems through events or while playing through the game, you will obtain primo gems from achievements, quests, or chests. Pity does not carry over across different banners, but they will carry over on the same type of banner. You can click on details to see your chances at getting rare items and characters. You can also see what weapons and what characters that you are able to get. You always have a chance at obtaining a rare character or weapon. This game has a pity system. For four star rarity, you are guaranteed one every 10 wishes. On the promotional banner, you are guaranteed a 5-star character every 90 wishes. The pity will carry over to the next banner. You have a 50-50 chance at getting the promotional character. If you did not pull the promotional character, your next pity will be the promotional character. The 50-50 resets every time you land on a promotional character. The weapon banner works a bit differently. Not only is the hard pity at 80 instead of 90, there is this new implementation called Epitomized Path, which basically guarantees you the weapon that you want. Once you hit chart course, it will give you zero out of two. After this, every time you land on a weapon that isn't the one that you wanted, it will add to your fate point. Once your fate points hit two out of two, your next five star will be the weapon that you want. These fate points will not carry over to the next weapon banner. So it is not recommended that you do this unless you have the disposable income to swipe. Okay, let's talk about soft pity. Soft pity is a magical number that once you reach it, every pull after that will increase in the chances of you hitting pity until you hit hard pity. You can see your pity by going to your history. Genshin only keeps a log of the past six months of your pull. So you can manually keep track of your pulls or you can use this helpful website, which I will link down below. Every time you get a duplicate character, you will obtain star glitter. Star glitter can be used in the shop. Most people will use the shop to buy some weapons, character constellations, or extra wishes. Every time you wish, you will also get stardust, which people use to purchase some free wishes from. Both shops resets at the beginning of every month. Okay, did you get all that? Adventure rank. You can see your adventure rank by pressing the escape button or going to the top left of your screen and clicking Paimon's head. Here, you can see your EXP until your next adventure rank. You can click the info button and read all about it. Increasing your adventure rank will give you some small rewards. Just head to Catherine and she'll give you something. You won't be able to play with your friends until adventure rank 16. So here are some tips. As you already know, chests give adventure rank EXP. Your adventure handbook also gives adventure rank EXP. Collecting all teleporters also gives adventure rank EXP. Some areas might be locked behind quests. You can also do quests for adventure rank EXP. You can also collect animoculi and geoculi and then stick them into the statue. Stop bro, I'm stuck! After adventure rank 8, you will unlock Leyline. The blue one is EXP. And at adventure rank 12, you'll see the Blossom of Wealth. You will need 20 resin to be able to claim the rewards from these. Anything that consumes resin will give you adventure rank. Speaking of resin, your fragile resin. Don't use them. Like, don't use them until adventure rank 45. Because at adventure rank 45, you are guaranteed a 5-star artifact from domains. Which is important because you need good artifacts to do big damage. On the screen, I put up some characters that are worth investing in. Why these characters? Even if you end up swapping them out, they'll still be helpful to you in clearing Abyss as support characters, which would mean that your resources wouldn't be wasted. These characters can be obtained from the beginner banner and standard banner at the time of this record. As Genshin continues forward, there will probably be more characters in the future. Now it is approaching 5 minutes into the video, and like most people, I just got lazy. So if I missed any tips, please leave them down below, and if this video does well, I'll probably make a second video. Boy!